three of the gentlemen most responsible for this beautiful vehicle. And appropriately so, we're beginning with the Vice President of Design of GM, Ed Welber. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. You know, I think Ed is a corporate treasure. In my opinion, he's the best design leader in the business. He's a great friend of Cadillac, and we're so lucky to have him with us on the Cadillac team. I know you spent a little time with, with Autumn in the uh, Cadillac Design Studio. What did you think of the process she went through, and, and what do you think of her images? Well, it's great. And the thing that's so fascinating, I love the way she captured the real human side of the design team. You know, the passion and the creativity that everyone puts into the work that they are doing. The real craftsmanship that is a part of developing a vehicle like this. We had great craftsmanship in Cadillacs back in the 1930s and 40s, and we brought that back. But we've done it in a very contemporary way, and Autumn captured it. I really love the work that she did. I know you start every work day not in a stuffy office, but, but you go down and, and you have co coffee with the folks who really make stuff work. You go down and have coffee with, with the craftsmen. What do you think of the portraits that she came out with? And, and what do you think the people who work for you will think about this? Well, I, I just love the way she captured that because it, it's a great team. Yeah, I do. I prefer starting my day down in the shops with uh, some of the folks in the wood shop or the people working with the leather goods and all of that. That's where I start my day. And then I'm off to the boardrooms and the design studios and all that. She really captured the passion that they have for the work. You know, Ed looks very young. I mean, it'll, it'll surprise you to know he's been with General Motors for 40 years. Wow. Hey. Hey. started actually crafting some of this and, and our favorite picture is the one that's right around the corner there and it's a picture of the tools and Ed earlier today you told me you still have the tools that you used early in your career. Yeah, I, I, when I started at GM, actually as a summer intern, I was a sculptor and I kept my tools. You know, they were very important to I may need them again. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't think so. Ed, what do you think Cadillac, what do you think the Escalade has meant for Cadillac? Well, the Escalade is that iconic vehicle. It's bigger than life. It has this dramatic presence when you see it. And if you see more than one, you know it must be a very special event for the it, it, it has got that kind of presence. And with this new generation, we have certainly, I think, raised the bar in execution and refined it in that design. You know, one of the things I like about going to the Cadillac studio is that it's never boring. It's a place of great creativity. And often I go there and, and I'm surprised by what they're working on or what they do. Do your designers ever surprise you? Do they ever surprise me? First off, you know, even though I've been there for over 40 years, uh, every time I walk into that Cadillac studio, it's like it's the first time I've ever been there. It is that special. It's that creative. And I'm always surprised with what I see. And, and the biggest thing I can do is, in, as the leader of the design organization, is to create an environment in which people feel comfortable with coming forward with their great ideas and they just feel free to create. When, when they created this vehicle, what was the goal? What did you want to accomplish with the new design of the Escalade? Well, with every great design, it needs to begin with establishing great proportions. And that takes great collaboration between design and engineering to achieve that. And once you have the proportions, the stance, the relationship with it, tires to the body, the upper to the lower, then you really have something you can work with. With the new Escalade, there's a much more refined body size shape, the subtle surface undulation, which I absolutely love. And of course, the front of the car, the face is everything when it comes to Escalade. And that shield grill, central grill, uh, framed by the very strong vertical headlamps, a big part of the design. And I love the layers of detailing that the designers put into this grill and the technology that's in the lamps. It's I think well, one of the other things that you thought about was you wanted easier access in, in and out of, of the Escalade. And you accomplished that. It's, I think, day one on this project. I said, we've got to improve entry and egress to that second row. We've got to make it easier to swing your foot in there. And I wanted a minimum 
of two inches of improvement in that area, and the team that she did, that came through with that, and I'm very happy with that. Along the way, we've designed a very elegant, very refined interior, great leathers and suede and woods throughout the interior. And congratulations on a wonderful vehicle job. Well, thank you. Thank you. conversation, but of course the new Escalade is instilled with the very latest in technology. Please welcome Cadillac's Executive Chief Engineer Dave Leon and Escalade Executive Chief Engineer Jeff Luke. Welcome fellas. <laughs> Dave, what's the role of the Chief Engineer and how do you bring engineering and performance to bear on a program like the Escalade? Well, the biggest part of my job is to work with Ed and his team at Design and Jeff and the Escalade team and to make sure that the Cadillac customer voice is heard throughout the process. But more specifically, my job is to make sure that we drive consistency in the way we execute the car from the way the technology is presented to the customer. Whether we're talking about Cadillac Q or we're talking about heads-up display or forward uh, parking assistance, we want to make sure that it's the same for each and every one of the Cadillacs. And that's especially important when you're trying to build a brand like Cadillac, where with every new vehicle, especially the Escalade, this is a vehicle that spells Cadillac to the marketplace. And so we want to make sure that's done right and it's done in a Cadillac fashion. Escalade is so important to the Cadillac brand. Jeff, what did you bring to this project and, and uh, how important was, was performance in the equation? Well, you know, the Cadillac is the standard of the world. And we wanted this Escalade to raise the bar in sophistication and refinement. And we had the opportunity to do a full, clean sheet here where we could take this truck to the next level. Now, Ed has already touched on the great levels of new interior refinement and comfort and sophistication. But we've also made the new Escalade more comfortable, easier to live with, and, and much more enjoyable. For example, we've improved the second row uh, entry and egress, as Ed said. And of course, uh, the, one of the biggest changes in the new interior is the push button, old flat, second and third row seats. We really think that, that, that these features are going to be tremendous, uh, tremendously accepted by our customers, Bob, and we're so excited to offer them. You know, uh, many folks who drive the Escalade consider it to be almost like uh, akin to their home interior. Uh, they want that comfort zone within within the interior. Uh, so how did you go about that challenge and, and I feel confident that you achieved the challenge? Well, you know, one, one of the things that goes with uh, ultimate refinement is, uh, is the feeling that the vehicle is really uh, quiet. And uh, what we wanted to do was, was uh, essentially have each customer feel as though it's sanctuary quiet is how we look at this. And it starts from the frame of the vehicle. It's a fully boxed frame that um, has stiffness with, with, and, and drives structural integrity to the body. It's made it much more um, uh, controlled and refined. And to couple that with the electric power steering and enhancements we made to the brakes in the truck, it's just an absolutely beautiful experience. We're so excited. It wouldn't be an Escalade if it didn't have strong performance. Everybody wants performance out of Escalade. I mean, think about the Escalade name, uh, what it means, overcome obstacles, scale heights. So, Dave, as you work through it, you put a lot of performance behind this vehicle. We did. We did. First of all, it's a Cadillac, and we spared nothing. We put everything we had from technology into this vehicle. And then the performance really starts out with our new 6.2 liter high-feature V8 engine at 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. That's another 17 horsepower, another 43 pounds of torque over the previous model. And then we couple that with the efficiency that we have with variable valve timing and active fuel management, which means that the car, the vehicle can run on four cylinders or eight cylinders based on the demand. And with that increased torque, we can stay in four-cylinder mode longer without having to jump to eight, and that means more fuel efficiency. We expect to have a couple miles per gallon for both city and highway with that achievement. And then last, this is a Cadillac, this is the Escalade, so we've made magnetic ride control, the fastest acting suspension system in the business, standard on the new Escalade. 
that the system works so fast that driving down the road at 60 miles an hour, it measures the road at every one inch travel, and it can adjust from full soft to full firm in just over three inches of road travel. So think about how fast that is. That's what this vehicle's got, and it is the fastest in the business. So let me get this right. You put greater performance in it and greater efficiency. You did. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.